In this section, we're going to consider a really important um, theorem in statistics known as the central limit theorem. Uh, and in lesson one, we're going to really just introduce the idea of what the central limit theorem is and just try and clarify uh, exactly what it means and what it enables us to do. Um, so understanding the central limit theorem, uh, to start off with, you really need to understand um, what we mean by the sample mean x bar, okay, um, which we'll go on and explain in a minute. Um, but uh, to start off with, <clears throat> we need to understand the relationship that connects x uh, and x bar and how their distributions are related. So first of all, if x follows a normal distribution, um, now x bar is if you take a random sample of n observations from that normal, and then uh, you work out the average of them, then the distribution of those averages is the distribution of x bar. And what will be true is that x bar will have the same mean, it will still be normally distributed, and it will have a reduced variance. And in fact, the variance will be reduced by a factor of n. So that connection between x and x bar is an important one. But the central limit theorem is more than that. Uh, and um, really to define the central limit theorem, um, we need to consider the following. So in fact, that this result is just a special case of the more powerful result called the central limit theorem. Okay, so uh, the actual sense central limit theorem in its entirety states this, that the mean of a large random sample taken from any random variable, okay, so any random variable at all, doesn't have to be normal, is always approximately normally distributed. And this result is true regardless of the distribution of the original random variable. Now, as you can imagine, that's a very powerful and useful result in statistics because it essentially enables us to start with any distribution at all, any random variable at all, and uh, manufacture a situation where we're considering the distribution of x bar to be normally distributed. So we can apply normal distribution theory to um, any data at all that's collected or any random variable situation. So to <clears throat> just um, cement the definition, the central limit theorem states that if x1, x2, xn, etc. Et is a random sample of size n. So if we take a random sample of size n from any distribution with a mean of zero and a variance of sigma squared, then x bar, the distribution of x bar, is will approximate to a normal distribution with the same mean and a variance reduced by the factor of n. So to understand the central limit theorem, you really need to first of all understand exactly what we mean by the distribution of the sample mean. So the table below um, provides us with an opportunity to explain that. So if you, uh, we've got 10 different samples of 15 numbers. So our sample size is 15. Okay, and these are just randomly generated numbers between 0 and 10. So sample one, 15 numbers randomly generated between um, 0 and 10. And at the end, we've just worked out the average of that set of 15. If we do that again, And work out the average and so on and so on and so on etc the numbers that we're getting in this column at the end these values are all sample means and this is the distribution of our sample mean okay so that's what we mean by the distribution of the sample mean and we'll talk about this a little bit more in video too. 